Early 2000s MTV was insane and the dating show called Max was the epitome of its insanity. The epitome of evil, I'd say. Do you do anything that benefits the world? Think of MTV's next as Tinder brought to life. There's Evan, the main guy, and five daters. If things aren't clicking, Evan can just move on by saying oh, Next. Originally, it was a straight dating show, but apparently the creators hit a wall, ratings were dropping, ideas were scarce, so they decided to shake things up to really grab viewers' attention. And they thought, why not try a gay episode of Next? And they went for it, they hack-worked this first and only gay episode of Next, it turned out to be so bad that it's inevitably falling into our collection that is y'all now called... Twinge of... <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Chat Chat here. Not really. And today we're gonna be watching this episode of Next that was supposed to stand for inclusivity and diversity but fell short. So that it could easily be shown as promotion for LGBTQIA plus phobia. I'm 21 and I'm an artistic, fun-loving gay man. Compassion is very close to my heart. I love to sing and dance, it's so much fun. They literally start the episode like this. And for reasons unknown, he's behaving somewhat childish. It's like the creators felt they had to tokenize the gays, portraying them in this stereotypical way. Just imagine the production team behind this episode. Hey, you gotta act a bit weirder. Remember, gays are known for being weird. Ah, oh, that's not what we're aiming for. Maybe try adding more clownishness. Yes! That's exactly what we need. Hey guys, before we go on with reacting to the show, there's something I need to tell y'all. I bet you haven't figured it out yet, but I'm not actually chat chat. Are you surprised? I know it's really unexpected and maybe even weird, but hey, not weirder than this next scene. Here Evan's first date Alex is coming and here's something cute actually. This short bio with random facts collects fortune cookies, idolizes Whitney. This is something I really enjoy, it reminds me of Woody Allen's narrative style. But here comes the cringe. Hi, I'm Evan. Alex. You have a really weak handshake, so I have to say next. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is a gay dating episode. Why does he have to have a strong handshake? Has he arrived at the arm wrestling contest? So, how was it date? Spill the details. It was great, it was great. He's exactly my type physically. And I feel like we really click in terms of compatibility. Wow, congratulations, so you're lonely no more, I guess. No, I wouldn't say that. What's wrong? You know, when we met, I didn't notice, but when we were saying bye to each other and shaking hands, I felt like his handshake was really weak. And? End of story. I blocked him on Grinder. Who needs wimps? Is it even a gay dating episode? To me, they act more like alphas, like chads. You're really f ugly, and it's your last bitch. Whatever, you're the loser here. Oh, what a lovely back and forth, don't you think? This dating show is all about spreading love and kindness. What do you mean they act like chops? No, they well-behaved gay guys. He nexted me because I was limp. <laughs> Carlos, you're next. Guys, don't expect me back. With this ass, I'll definitely last longer than a minute. Sure, gays are all about this. Like they might be studying architecture or some other intellectual stuff, but at the same time we all know what's on their mind. Peaches and bananas, gays are all about that. What do you mean size? Asexual? Never heard of it. What's even crazier is that Carlos Bio says this. Girls think he's straight. Why is this line included at all? <laughs> What is so important about it? Being straight or being considered straight by someone else is good? Is it better than being considered gay? I mean, what was in the mind of the scriptwriter of this show? Honestly, I'm feeling the vibe of the straight passing privilege and maybe even straight maxing. Is there the term like straight maxing? Let me know what your thoughts on this, okay? Oh, by the way, for every comment, I'm gonna give you a cookie. Are we agreeing? I'm Evan. Hi, I'm Carlos. Nice to meet you, Evan. How are you doing? Doing okay. How about yourself? Very good. I like to dance, and I like all types of dance. And we have some African dancers over here ready to show us some steps. Would you like to try it? Sure. What kind of conversation is this? You know, it reminds me of Daria with its dry and emotionless conversations. It's like that pan, you know? How are you doing? Fine. How about yourself? I'm fine too. I like to dance. 
I do get it. It's the editing style. It's fast paced. Then why on earth? Did they include this next scene with the African dances and they spent half a minute on it with the episode lasting for eight minutes only, as I said. Are you out to your family and friends and everything? Kind of and not really. Like, I'm out to my friends and part of my family knows except my mom and dad, whoever I'm with, be open and honest with their family. I not only want to be accepted by them, but by their family as well, so that there's no awkwardness. So I have to tell you next. Wow. He nexted him because Carlos was not out to his parents. You know, I'm surprised it ended there, thankfully. And it didn't cut to Evan and Carlos at his parents' place next, with Evan out in him. That would have been extremely horrible, but so in line with the episode's tone. Evan, you're so ugly, I didn't even want you to meet my family anyway. Since Carlos wouldn't shout, I'm here, I'm queer, he can go and shed a tear on the next bus. After witnessing what we just did, does anyone still want to argue that Gen Z is the most narcissistic generation ever? I mean, millennials were fed this crap. Up next is Christopher and get ready for some very important information. Christopher is terrified of food poisoning, enjoys hanging out in his speedo, definitely not a narcissist, and has even waxed a man's hairy back. It seems that they wanted to perpetuate the stereotype that all gay men are obsessed with smooth skin. Hey guys, do you enjoy games? Don't. Get ready because we're about to play a game called Assume the Sexuality. Oh, it's easy, he's gay. Look at his skin. It's too good for a hetero man. Gay. Gay. Um, this one is straight. His face features are somewhat manly. He cannot be gay, he's straight. Oh, this one is straight, 100%. Yeah, how can this person be gay? He's very manly. I cannot detect anything gay-ish. Do you do anything that benefits the world? I fight for dolphins and stuff like that through the internet, donate money and stuff. We know how smooth dolphins are, right? Well, guess what? It's your duty as a fabulous gay guy to look out for dolphins. If not, we might end up with a universe ruled by Chewbacca bear hybrid. So let's save the dolphins and keep the galaxy stylish. I'm a strict vegetarian. Okay. And I love trying new places. This place, Leaf, is all raw food. Okay. And um, strictly vegan. And so, would you like to try it? Yeah. Oh, of course he's a vegetarian. This is the gay episode. Vegetarian is gay and meat-eating is for real, man. In my last relationship, Lord, he had a wonderful body, excellent looks, but just mentally he wasn't stable to me. He claimed to be an exorcist. That's a little interesting. A little interesting here probably means at least you're surprising me with something. Well, anyways, might have been a very interesting breakup. I wonder if they use sage or holy water to cleanse the relationship vibes. All right, so what's the raunchiest thing you've ever done? I had a party at my house once. What's the raunchiest thing you've done? I had a party at my house. There was this girl, and she was really hot. She's like, you're not gay, you're not gay, you're not gay. I was like, yes, I'm so, well, I want to you so bad. And she like, pulls me and takes me into my room. We're going at it, and one of my friends comes in, and he starts undressing himself, so he kind of joins. That's really sexy. And I also strip at the breast. So. I'm a little bit uncomfortable with the whole stripping thing. Definitely not my scene. So I'm really sorry, but I have to stay next. Uh, it doesn't feel like a dating show to me. Evan, it's always nice to be a closed-minded gay man. You need to lighten up a little. I'm looking for a private dancer, not a man whore. Nor is it a bunch of chads or chavs, you know what it is? It's a gathering of unconfident people sharing their struggles and pains stemming from existing stereotypes. Up next is Jeff, promotes for clubs, worships Gwen Stefani. This one about Gwen Stefani is particularly interesting, please remember it, we'll get back to it in a second. Where's girls jeans? Okay, must have been a big deal in 2006 when literally every emo guy, including straight guys, wore the so-called girls jeans. So what do you do? I work at a Christian camp. So you're really into religion? Yeah, I'm really into religion. I want to continue at like my Christian university at Vanguard. Something I really believe in. Uh, how do you feel about like the whole um, gays going to hell? God forgives mm -hmm. people for their sins. Mm -hmm. Being gay, they say, is a sin. Mm -hmm. Stealing is a sin. God forgives people for stealing. God forgives people for being gay. So uh, you believe in Jesus? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jesus is my bra. Any other interests? Oh, music is my passion as well. I worship Gwen Stefani. I could see your love forever. Evan, here's the real sin. A cute guy like me giving you the time of day. This is vanity, this is boasting, and it's a sin. 
God may forgive you for being gay, but no one is gonna forgive you for that haircut. Why does everyone hate Jeff's haircut? Like, for real. What's so wrong with that? Is his haircut really that bad? Isn't he just an average long hair dude? I mean, nothing too awesome about his hair, nothing too horrible. Well, maybe the genius creators of the episode are just preying on gays don't like guys with long hair thing, which is somewhat fanphobia. How'd it go? Alright you guys, Evan nexted me because of my religious beliefs. Nexting someone just for their religious beliefs? Can you imagine that? Imagine Matt Walsh and Jeffrey Marsh taking part in a dating show as next. I'm sorry Matt, but because of your political views, I have to say next. Guys, can you imagine they nexted me because I'm a far rider? Isn't it pathetic? Keith owns 26 pairs of designer jeans, loves breakfast at Tiffany's, afraid of bargain shoppers. Hello. Hi, how you doing? I'm Evan. Keith, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are oh, you ready to head on on our next activity? Definitely, let's go. It's like they were born to be actors, isn't it? I am currently a student of cosmetology, doing hair and work as an assistant at a salon. I went to cosmetology school for a little while in New York. Surprise, surprise, cosmetology, hairdressing, clearly is destined for that. Definitely not for fire trucks or police cars. Well, I'm glad to hear that you went to cosmetology school. Um, that's something that we have in common. So we're gonna go play with some hair and, and makeup and have a good time. Great. What's your cosmetology school like? It's really nice. It, it's a lot of old women coming in for wet sets, pretty much. Hey, RuPaul, you should reconsider your hall show. Learn from the pros, the producers of the show next. I have a choice to either take the $43 or you can go on a second date with me. Some queens are good in poker, but they're not good in a relationship. I'm gonna have to take the money and go back to the bus. I think that the mere fact that we're cringing at this 2006 episode proves just how far LGBTQIA plus folks have come. Despite there's always someone trying to hold you back or hinder your progress, no longer are people expecting gays to conform to a certain behavior. Not all gays are feminine and being femme isn't inherently negative or exclusively associated with being gay. And finally, gays are not just about bitches and bananas. I mean, we do have to vary the menu. Clam chowder might be the option at times. By the way, Samantha recently transitioned to a pescatarian diet. I had been a vegetarian for 10 years. Finally, being a vegetarian or vegan isn't dependent on being gay. Most importantly, whether you're gay or straight isn't determined by subscribing to Samantha's channel or hitting the thumbs up button under her videos. Thanks for watching, consider watching my other videos, there are so many videos on this channel, bye!